right? Got the fellas. We're going to start rolling. This is your day. We're here for you. Follow instructions. This is going to be a fun day. All right? And uh, everybody's here to watch it. And good luck. And just make sure that you guys are dressed. 6037. 6037. Chris Davis. 5096. No, sir. Can't say no. That's a good rhythm. Another 
Jack. There you go, Jack. Come on, Jack. Water, get water. If you need water, get water.
Um, I think I did great today. I think I did great. Um, was able to show some athleticism and some strength. You know, um, still, I'm still, I'm never satisfied with my numbers. I still think I could have did better. But that's just me, you know, pushing myself. But uh, I, I did great on my drills today, um, especially my, um, my uh, drills I'm dropping in space. Was, I was taken out of my comfort zone today, but that was the, that was the highlight of today. You know, I got things that I know I can work on. I still did great today, but I wanted to I want to perfect them. You know, and there are things that I, that I'm going to work on in, in in our individual workouts with these teams that are coming up. But overall, man, I think I did great. I had a great time. You know, uh, looking forward to the future. You guys feel a whole lot of pressure with all these NFL scouts. It's like you're one time to shine in front of all of them. No, I don't feel pressure. It's what we've been doing. It's what we work for. Um, I think once you put pressure on yourself, that's when your game starts to be deficient. That's not what we do. We just have fun. Like I said, the environment was great. We just had fun. You know, scouts, players, players to player. Like we all had fun together. So, thank you, D Ford, defense fan. Uh, I feel like I did pretty good, you know. Um, obviously, I set pretty high expectations for myself, so um, I didn't reach all those expectations. But overall, I think I did, uh, you know, good and uh, good enough, so I'm happy. Do you feel a lot of pressure from all these NFL scouts all here? This is like your one chance really to shine? Um, you know, I kind of feel that way, but I kind of just uh, try to, you know, push away the pressure and not think about it. And it's just, for me, it's just opportunity. And, uh, you know, whatever becomes of it is what it is, and I'll make the best of it. But, um, you know, I'm just out here doing the best I can, and whatever happens after that is what happens. Were you disappointed that you didn't get a combine invite? I was disappointed. Um, you know, I thought I would. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it's not for me to worry about. And, uh, you know, just like this is my opportunity here today. So um, can't really think about that and uh, just, you know, try to do the best I could out here today. So. Do, do you know why to get your guys and, and having a huge group? I mean, what, what does this mean? Yeah, it's real exciting to watch these guys work out. Uh, you know, a lot of guys can go to the next level. Uh, they performed very well today. Uh, got real good response, and so it was exciting for me to, to watch them. Because Steve was scratched from the combine because of the back issue. Was that ever an issue here? No, never an issue. He, uh, he hadn't been limited in any way. Uh, he's done everything we've asked in the weight room, working out, conditioning, and uh, he looked very good, performed very well today. Yeah. The problem in the Iron Bowl, the SEC. Yeah. What does that say, really? I mean, we, we knew what he was doing mm -hmm. statistically. We knew about the angle, but for yeah. the wrist also be an issue. Yeah, Tra Trey's a tough guy. I mean, uh, you know, with the amount of carries that he, he has, you know, that he got in our league, uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, Sundays when he'd have trouble limping around and all that, and then he'd find a way to, to be 100% for the game. He's a tough guy. He's a very durable guy, and he proved that time and time again, especially late. Uh, in our stretch run, you know, this past year. There's some concern there on the next level, his pass blocking ability. He was just telling us over there, he goes, listen, I haven't given up a sack all season. Yeah. What, do you, what do you kind of say to that? What do you think NFL teams should expect when it comes to pass blocking? Well, uh, the thing about Trey, he's got great courage. And uh, a lot of times pass protection at the next level is about courage. He's a smart guy. Uh, he understands protections. And uh, the more he does of it, uh, the better he'll get. So then you would not agree with Mike Mayock's assessment this morning that the next time Trey blocks him, uh, no, I wouldn't agree with that. What, what kind of conversation have you had with some of the, the coaches here or the, the scouts here? What were you kind of telling some of them about the, the players? Well, I, I mean, you know, we uh, feel like we're sending a, a very good group, you know, uh, to the for the next level. Got uh, very good comments from, you know, a lot of the scouts, uh, you know, not, not just the talent level, but how our guys are handling themselves. And, and, of course, that's very important to me. Uh, you know, he was here for three years. Uh, he gave this school a lot. Um, you know, he forfeited the right this year. Uh, just felt like I need to give him a chance. So you guys talk about pro day and what it means to the program. What's that? Talk about pro day and what it means to the program. Yeah, hey, uh, you know, uh, anytime you got all the the schools uh, or all the teams represented, 32 out here to watch our guys, uh, you know, perform. That's a good thing. It's a good thing for the future, and uh, you know, that's what our program is uh, expects, and uh, so is exciting. Uh, to see all the, the scouts out here today. What do you think about Jay's chances to play in the NFL? Yeah, Jay's a football player. I feel like uh, not only Jay will make it, uh, I think he'll be there for a while. He's a tough guy. He's a smart guy. Um, 
you know, he can play special teams. Uh, he can catch football. We didn't throw it a lot this year, but he does have the ability to catch football, and he, he's a tough physical guy, too. Can you talk about Blake? Blake's performance today, I mean, 4-3, 4-4. Yeah, Blake uh, did a good job run, running. Uh, that was impressive. Uh, you know, he's a great kid. He's a great person that helped our team in different ways, you know. Uh, so I'm happy for him. Is this sort of a proud day for you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, it's, it's exciting, uh, you know, to watch our guys perform out there. I think all of them did well. And, uh, you know, a lot of these guys will have a chance to represent Auburn at the next level. And, uh, you know, they're, they're all good people. And, and that's what excites me. You know, I talked to Demetrius. that I had since I was very young. You know, it's going to be, words probably can't even describe how I'm going to feel because it's going to be a dream come true. Where will you be? Will you be here back home? Like uh, probably back home, you know, you know, with my family. Let them experience it with me. We jumped in kind of late. Just overall, how do you feel about today? I know you didn't participate in everything, but just what you did participate in and, and getting a chance to get back out in front of the scouts. Uh, it's, you know, I love competing. Uh, it kind of hurt me. I didn't get to do everything here. Of course, I wanted to, but it was smart for me to just come out here and work on what they asked of me, and which is, you know, catching the ball out of the backfield. I felt like I did a good job up in Indianapolis and a great job here. So I'm just going to continue to work on my game and get better and better every day. So it was just a personal decision just to, to just do what they asked of you and not, I guess, push it? Yeah, of course. It was, and uh, I was happy with my decision. So what you did do, the position drills, you feel like you came out and performed like you wanted to? Uh, I did. I feel like I catched the, I caught the ball well out of the backfield, um, and you know that some of the little things is like catching with your body or catching with your hands. And I felt like I snagged them all with my hands and showed I could catch the ball well. What are your nerves like right now? I mean, obviously this. I know you, maybe the pressure one wasn't as bad today because you were only doing a couple things. But what's the pressure like? You know, between this and the combine and getting out there and, and doing this. Um, to me, I just, you know, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable, you know, I, I love the game of football and this all comes with the game of football. So I don't really get nervous or feel under pressure. And when I am under pressure, I like it though. I like performing under pressure and to see what I could do under pressure. And in Florida, we call it gump. It's like, it's called great under major pressure. So that's what I try to be. Try to be gump. Now, uh, overall, do you feel good about your draft stock right now? Uh, I do. Of course, I want to get in the first round. You know, that's my that's my goal. I want to be first running back taken in the first round, and I'm just God willing that happens. Uh, it was good. Uh, kind of, they just had me field goal wise, just kind of keep going back and forth as far as I can go, uh, left and right hash. And I, I mean, I, I hit them all until uh, they brought me back. To, I was, I mean, I was hitting 60 yards with these, so they brought me back to 65, and. Uh, I had the distance on one, but I, I, I missed it. Uh, but overall, that was good. And then hit kickoff. So, was, I mean, my usual was kicking them out of the back of the end zone. So, overall, it was a real good day for me. What are you hearing from teams you know, that are, are, you've talked to? Um, uh, I got s some individual workouts coming up with some teams. Uh, so, I guess kind of go from there. But just from today, they're kind of just telling me that, I mean, I could be, you know, a late draft pick to anything from, a, you know, if, they, if I'm a free agent, a lot of them were telling me that they want me to, you know, really give their team a shot. So uh, all positive news today. Do you have, I mean, with that scenario, late rounds, pick seven or undrafted, do you have a preference? Would you rather get your option of who you want to play for? I mean, I'd, I'd love to get drafted. That's, that's the dream. I think anyone would rather get drafted than be a free agent. But, you know, whatever scenario comes my way, I'm going to make the best of it. Actually, the things they worked on today was just to see as far as like my footwork and stuff because they said we didn't work out of a three-point stand much here. So they got me in three-point stance and just seen me pull and shoot my hands and stuff because they seen on film like I would expose my chest. So he wanted me to do like a lot of single punches drills and he said that'll help me keep everything within and not wind up and expose my chest much. How big of a difference is that? Well, it's, it's not a big difference as far as adjusting, but it's something that I didn't work on much when I was here because we focused on the run so much, but I don't find it was hard to adjust once, it, once I did it because it's just something that I didn't work on. What else more do you think you have to prove to, to be one or two or you know, one of the top guys taken? Well, I've watched myself a lot on film, and there was a lot of things that I was good at. But as far as 
picking out the little things that I need to work on, it's kind of hard, so it's just better to hear from other people and advise myself that way because as far as me trying to find bad things on myself, it's just something that I'm used to doing, so I don't think it's wrong. But hearing it from other people, it makes it, it makes more sense just to see what they have to say and if it'll help me, I'll use it. Greg, what um, you, you elected to hold on some of your combine numbers. Um, what what was the decision process that you felt they were good enough to move forward with those? Well, I feel I did have good numbers. I didn't I didn't do too good on the three cone or the L drill, but that was just something that happened later in the combine. I felt I could have improved on it, but I talked to my agent and he said it wouldn't affect me much. So I don't know as far as how much it would affect me, but I don't think I needed to redo it. So I was satisfied with my numbers. Greg, when the season started back in August, did you did you think at this point in this year that you'd be potentially the number one pick in the NFL draft? Did that ever cross your mind? Well, actually, I worked my butt off, so I didn't know what to expect. I just knew if I gave it my all, that was one of the goals that I wanted to be in the position to get drafted high because I talked to my parents, and I just told her, like, my mindset was to enter the draft. So it's just something that I worked towards. I didn't know as far as how high I would go. I just wanted to give myself an opportunity to get drafted high. When was the first time you heard somebody say, oh, top five pick or potential number one, and what was your reaction? Well, I just really, I, I try my best not to pay attention to most of that. And like I say, just every day I had an opportunity to step on the field or get into the weight room, just give it my all and just see where that would put me at. But I think it's paid off, so. How difficult was the combine for you between the pink eye and having a little bit of a sickness and everything else? Just how difficult was that week? I think the reason I had the pink eye and I was kind of stuffy is because I was out in Arizona and the weather is real dry, so. I just came down with it and, you know what I'm saying, like my body was tired. But as far as here, like I didn't have to do the 40 and all that other training stuff. It was just position drills. And I'm here in Auburn and the weather's not bad and I'm, it's something that I'm used to. So I don't think it was much, much of a difference. It, was, it felt good to be back with those guys that were trying.